Hi, in the last three videos, I showed you how you can draw the windows, the walls, also how you can put the doors, all right? And lastly, I showed you how you can put the hatches. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put the grid lines on this ground floor plan, all right? So if you really want to watch all those three videos that I'm talking about, I'm going to leave links in the description box down below, all right? So just check them out if you want to watch those three videos all right so let's proceed with the card and i show you exactly how to do it so we shall start by clicking at this arrow then select the layer for def points then click at the rectangle command then i'll draw a square of dimensions 2000 by 2000 millimeters right so i'll select it Click at the move command, then click at this point over there, then transfer the square up to this point. Alright, so I'll select it again, click at the copy command, then I'll click at this point, then transfer a copy of this square up to this other point. Alright, press escape, then press enter, then still. I'll click at this rectangle command then I'll click at this point then I'll draw a rectangle from this point over here to this point all right then I'll select these two squares then I'll delete them because now I no longer need them then the, the other thing is I'll select that line then click at the offset command then click at the same line again then offset that line at a distance of 75 millimeters right then next press escape select the line then also select this rectangle that you've just drawn all right click at this arrow next to the trim command then select extend all right then we shall have to extend this line until it meets this rectangle all right then do the same thing here at the lower end of the line all right so when you're done you simply press escape select this line click at this arrow then uh, select grid lines all right so once you select grid lines uh, automatically autocad um, puts this line that we have just drawn under the layer for grid lines all right next we are going to check out our reference drawing so i'll click right here then according to our reference drawing um we have this distance between this grid line and this grid line is 30150 all right so this is what i'm going to offset so I'll get back to AutoCAD, click at the offset command, then I'll click at this line, then offset it at a distance of 3150. Press enter. So we have another grid line at this position over here. Then I also need another grid line over here. Alright, so I'll get back to the reference drawing. You can see that the distance between this grid line and this grid line is... 3650 all right so still i'll select that grid line click at the offset command right then click at this grid line then offset it at a distance of 3650 press enter at the keyboard and this is what we have all right the next thing is we are going to draw the horizontal grid lines all right so i'll select this line click at the offset command then click at the same line offset it at a distance of 75 millimeters press enter at the keyboard then click at the lower end of this line here all right so this is what we have next i'll select this uh, outer rectangle click at the extend command all right then click at this line then AutoCAD will automatically extend it up to this selected uh, rectangle, all right? So do the same thing over here. You can see that this is what we have, all right? 
so select that line then put it under the layer for grid lines all right so next maintain it selected then we shall go back to our reference drawing all right so you can see that the distance between this grid line and this grid line is 1150 all right so i'll get back to autocad click at the offset command then click at this grid line offset it at a distance of 1150 millimeters all right so this is what we have okay so next i'm going to get another grid line for this wall all right so i'll scroll up you can see that um, the distance between this grid line and this grid line we shall have to add the distance between this grid line and this grid line then from this grid line up to this grid line okay so i'll employ my calculator the next i'll put in 1150 plus 2500 click okay so we have uh, 3650 all right so i'll minimize this all right get back to autocad then i'll, I'll select um this grid line over here then click at the offset command then click at this line offset it at a distance of 3650 millimeters all right so this is what we have over here okay so press escape still click at the reference drawing then you can see that the distance between this grid line and this grid line is 1300 millimeters all right so i'll get back to autocad select that grid line click at the offset command then i'll offset it at a distance of 1300 millimeters all right so next still i'll get back to our reference drawing you can see that the distance between this grid line and this grid line is 1500 so still i'll click at this grid line then offset it at a distance of 1500 press enter have this then next i'm going to have a grid line for this wall over here then lastly this wall over here all right so still i'll get back to the reference drawing i'll try to zoom in a little bit so this is the grid line that i've been talking about then we shall end with this one all right so you can see that the distance between um this grid line and this grid line is um 2150 millimeters so i'll click at this line or grid line then i'll offset it at a distance of 12150 millimeters all right so this is what we have still get back to the reference drawing and the last grid line is at a distance of 1500 millimeters from this grid line f all right so click at this grid line all right then um offset it at a distance of 1500 millimeters as you can see that we have already developed the layout of the grid lines so what we are left with is to put the bubbles when i talk about the bubbles this is what i'm trying to mean right so i'll click at this arrow then select the layer for tags right that, but before we put the tags always make sure that um you come over here right then you select the scale at which you're going to plot this drawing at because if you don't select a scale then you put your tags and you want to plot your drawing and you use a scale different from what um, you put your tags at those tags won't appear because they are annotative objects right so you have to make sure that you specify the scale at which you're going to plot this drawing all right so in this case i'll use 1 to 50 it's already selected all right so i'll use this tool palette all right then i'll come under the metric 
samples all right then i'll select the first option but make sure that you have selected the annotation tab all right and you select tag symbol but under under the metric samples because we are dealing with millimeters but if you're dealing with inches you better deal with the imperial samples all right because if you try to to use the imperial samples you see that it's very very small you can't even like see it unless if you zoom it out but if you bring in the metric sample you see that it's way much bigger than the imperial sample all right so that's the difference so i'll simply delete off this other tag that is under the imperial sample all right so i'll remain with what i want so i'll select it then click at the move command click at that point then i'll transfer it up here all right then i'll select it click at this point then i'll rotate it all right but when i've rotated it this this line over here i want it to be of length um 1000 millimeters and from this center over here all right because if you hover your cursor at this blue dot you see that it gives you a distance from this um, end point to the center of this circle all right i want that distance to be um 1000 all right from the center up to where the line will be ending all right so this is what i'm going to do so i'll put in 1000 press the tab key at the keyboard then put in 90 hit enter this is what i have so you can see that that is it the next click at the move command then click at that point then transfer this bubble um, up to this point right select it click at the copy command then click at this point then transfer a copy of this bubble to these different grid lines all right the next select it click at the copy command still then stretch it out up to this point so press escape then select it then i'm going to rotate this line to be facing in this direction all right so i'll click at this point then still i'll rotate it at an angle of 180 because i want it to be horizontal all right so i'll put in the same distance 1000 by 180 right so this is what we have so i'll maintain it selected then click at the move command right click at that point then transfer it to this grid line select it still click at the copy command click at this point then transfer it down here press escape the next i'm going to put uh, numbers in this upper bubbles then i'll put letters in this side bubbles all right so this is what i'm going to do i'll maintain this one as one then i'll double click inside here all right then this dialog box will pop up okay so you can see that it's enhanced attribute editor dialog box then below it there is block tab metric it's under the metric system then next we have tag detail then here we are under the tab for attribute all right i'll change it from one to two all right once once you're done to put your changes you just need to click apply then okay all right so i'll move to this third bubble double click then i'll do the same thing here but this time i'll put in three so this is what i'm going to do also for these other bubbles but this time i'll be putting in letters i'm going to be a little bit quick not to make the video too long So 
as you can see our drawing has grid lines at the moment yeah so let's put maybe the dimensions all right so i'll click at this arrow select the layer for dimensions over here then click at this linear command right then click at this point up to this point select that dimension over your cursor at this blue dot uh, select continue dimension then you put your dimensions over there then do the same thing for this other side press escape all right so this is what we have all right so um a kind reminder if you want to know how to draw the walls the windows and also the doors and also how to put the hatch inside the walls please check out all those videos that i've made before and uh, i've put the links in the description box below all right so this is it for this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel also like the video also you can share this kind of content to friends and relatives that you feel like they are in need of this kind of content all right so in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how you can put the text inside this drawing and also how you can determine the area of these different rooms all right so thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video all right